Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, looking at some of the features in the program and how they work. I've got a short movie on my timeline, about two and a half minutes long, and I'm ready to output that movie. Now if you go up here to Export and Share, your option is to do a quick export. That's the first screen that pops up. And a quick export is just fine if you just need a general purpose video. You notice that my resolution here is 1920 by 1080. That's because my project is 1920 by 1080. If I were shooting upright video, it would be 1080 by 1920. That's upright video like you'd shoot with your phone held upright. If it were a square project, 1080 by 1080, that would be the resolution of the output. So it's based on your project settings here. And like I say, this is a nice general purpose output, but if you go under the devices tab, and go under some of the other tabs that are here under export and share you see options for outputting to a computer a tv mobile system there are custom output options you can use there's social media options where you can upload directly to social media sites i'm sure you've seen these audio and image options also the question is why if quick export works just fine why would i go to any of these other tabs why would i go to devices and tinker around with some of the specifics well, take a look if we go to quick export here and you go over here under quick export settings, take a look at the bit rate here, six megabits per second. That's adequate. It's not great, but it's adequate. If I go into the devices tab and choose exactly the same output option, 1920 by 1080, you'll notice that my bit rate now 15 megabytes per second. So a little bit different in the output options. Now, does that affect the quality of it? Yeah, it certainly does. But is it affecting the quality of it enough for you to use this option rather than the quick export option? Now under quick export, you have options here for making the file smaller if you'd like. Right now, if you look over here on the right, under quick export settings, you'll see that the file size is about 112 megabytes. If I go under devices here, that at its default setting, this output for 1920 by 1080 would actually create a file that if you look down here is 273 megabytes. So it's nearly twice the size, but it's three times the bit rate. Now whether that matters or not is up to you. Does file size matter? Do you really need to have a very small file? Does the picture need to be really perfect or can you work with a video that is just fine? Not great, but just fine. And whether or not your eye can even see the difference between a bit rate of six megabytes per second and a bit rate of 16. Now you can change the size here under quick export. You can make it much smaller. So you can push it all the way down here to three megabytes per second, which gives you a file that's only 57 megabytes in size and you can try options in between here. It's a compromise between size and uh, quality. And again, how well your eye can see the difference in the quality between the large and the small option. If I go under devices, I can also change the size of my file by moving this slider. And I don't have incremental options in here on the slider. I can either go to extremely low, which would create a file that's only 93 megabytes but you can see the bit rate is down to five or extremely high. Now I've seen some people who insist on a high quality 32 megabytes per second output. I honestly don't think you can see the difference between this and this between 16 megabytes per second and 32 megabytes per second. I don't think you get that much more quality for the increase in file size. But again, it's up to your eye. Can you see the difference? Most of the time I work with the default setting, which takes us right at a nice comfortable 15 megabytes per second. That's for a 1920 by 1080 video. Of course, these numbers would be different if you were using a higher resolution video or a lower resolution video. And in quick export, six megabytes per second. Those are the default settings and those are what I usually use. That's why I'm usually under devices because I like the quality of devices. I like the file size. I think it's the best compromise between picture quality and file size. But it's up to you. As I say, quite often a quick export is all you need. 
If you're going to post it online or something, it's going to be file reduced anyway. Put it on YouTube, they're going to shrink it down a little bit. Probably not going to make a big difference, but it's entirely up to you whether you use Quick Export or the Devices option.